So for me, the big inspiration for teaching came from uh, many summers working at a camp in Vermont. After growing up in that environment and then becoming a counselor in training there and being a young counselor there working with uh, different boys between the ages of 8 and 14, uh, just started falling in love with working with them and working through the different issues that definitely come up with them. And so for many years I was working there, um, I went to college and was thinking about doing a degree in uh, environmental sciences and working kind of more business end. Uh, but always in the back of my head was just this love for working with uh, the kids during the summer in Vermont. And so after college I worked for several years as a outdoor educator. With that, I knew I wanted to kind of keep working with um, students and children in, in some form or another, um, and decided that I wanted to look into more teaching in a long-term uh, position where the Outdoor Education Center was amazing and worked with so many different kids, but it was always a five-day um, section, right? And so you only get a little bit of a chance to see the growth in a, in a student. And so, yeah, I knew that you know, I wanted to keep having that opportunity to make those strong connections and just an opportunity to uh, have kids see the, the potential that they have to grow and their, find their place in the world. So fifth grade is, uh, is an amazing year, I think, for many reasons. Again, I you know, used to work with middle school students and it was fun to work through the challenges there. Um, and fifth grade, I think, is this just amazing transitional year where they, they a, lot of, a lot of times, and especially at PBS, it's still a classroom, homeroom style uh, experience where they have their core teachers that they see all the time, but they're starting to get a lot more independence in uh, more homework and just more kind of responsibility in the classroom or around the school. And developmentally, they are able to grasp more um, complex topics and hold conversations with the teachers in ways where we can really dig deep into either different um, social studies issues or math problems or reading and writing and start holding them to a higher standard but also helping them see that you know they these things that are challenging for them they can work on and they can get to that that place where they feel they feel very um, accomplished in, in uh, what they're working on um, and I love the the fifth grade years of they you know, they're starting to especially at PBS being the oldest kids in the school they um, a lot of times I keep reminding myself that I mean, it's amazing how a 10 year old can get up in front of 200, 200 plus kids and give a speech on something that they're passionate about, something that they've learned over the course of their time at PBS and um, comfortably and audibly speak, speak to the rest of the school about that experience and what they've learned through that. Um, it's pretty remarkable that a fifth grader can do that and so I love working with uh, the fifth graders here to, to help them find themselves as leaders and, and realize that there's many different ways of leadership and different qualities in a leader that not everybody needs to be the same type of leader out there and um, just helping them find that part of themselves um, I really love about fifth grade and then really the the curriculum of fifth grade of just kind of taking it to the next next step for for uh, the different units but helping the students realize that you know as they're getting ready for middle school where they'll be moving around classrooms a lot more um, just providing them opportunities to really take them, uh, get the most out of their experience here at PBS where we can give them projects and give them independence to take it the creative way that they would like to work on those projects with. So uh, the past year we, we did a unit, kind of mini unit on uh, the civil rights movement uh, around January around Martin Luther King uh, Jr. Day and so we had the kids explore different types of civil rights movements over the years. Um, we kind of highlighted Martin Luther King Jr. and highlighted uh, the Women's March and things that were going on in current events as well. And just had the kids kind of open door, look into anything in the news for the past 50, 100 years, just different examples of um, people and peoples looking into, you know, trying to promote themselves and figure out ways for to have better equality out there. And so we, after having the students explore that for uh, a week or two, uh, we asked them to start looking into certain events that are still going on. Instead of it being like, this is, this is during Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, day and looking in the past, you know, like, let's look at current events. What are things that are examples of people who are still fighting for these rights? Um, I think it was powerful for some of the students who oftentimes when they hear about Martin Luther King Jr., they think, oh, all these things 
we have these things, these problems have been solved, um, and it's important to celebrate them. But it was, it was really powerful to see a lot of the students kind of reflecting back on, oh, that's, that's still something that we're working on. And it's not, it doesn't mean that we're not doing it right or that it's, it's a big issue, but just that there's something that can still be done. Um, so the students then picked a topic or a event or issue that they were passionate about that kind of spoke to them. Um, and they wrote a reflection on that. And then um, we had them go on to kind of tie it in a technology piece and had them work with the 3D printers we have here to create a monument, a civil rights monument for that cause or that issue that they were interested in. So some students went with uh, kind of uh, women's rights and just equality across uh, gender. Some of them went with gender inclusiveness um, in, in different ways. And then a lot of them were looked at education and weren't wanting to push for education across the world and access to education, which was really powerful as well to see students thinking about that reflectively um, in the, the privilege that they have to have, be in a space where they can go to school every day and know that they're gonna be fed and happy in school. Um, and realizing that not everybody has that opportunity, um, but that that's something that they value. Uh, and so the end of that um, was them getting to print off their, their 3D models of their monument and then doing a gallery walk and being able to look at all their classmates, uh, different examples of issues that they were interested in. Uh, and it was a very powerful uh, thing to watch them going around and looking at each other's and commenting on each other's and just the discussions that came out of that that was, you know, mind-blowing and really eye-opening that fifth graders were having these conversations. Um, it was, was really powerful. I love courage as one of um, our, the PBS's core values. I think that a big thing that happens uh, in all of the classrooms is that we encourage uh, the students to, to really recognize that even though things are difficult and situations might be difficult or um, a unit or a subject, subject might be difficult for them, that it's okay to not succeed right away. And that part of being a PBS student is that you're, you have the courage to continue to try something. And so math might, might not be easy at first for a student, but just um, the teachers and the faculty here really try to create an environment, and the other students create an environment where it's okay to not get something right the first time. And it's okay that if you know this is something that's a little bit difficult for you, you can have the courage to keep putting yourself back in that situation to to try and try again and know that that's all part of the process of learning. The part, process of learning is not getting it right the first time. That's how you actually remember and gain the knowledge in a more structural way than just getting it right the first time. Um, and I definitely see uh, courage play out in many ways in that we, we don't avoid having difficult conversations with one another and we don't avoid uh, students being put in a uh, position where they need to have a conversation with a classmate if something comes up. Um, that, that is something that is part of being a part of this community and hopefully part of any community that they want to be in that if you know, they have something goes on at recess or something happens uh, outside of the classroom that we make sure that we, we address that and that the students are willing to and have the courage to um, go up and, and have a good and productive conversation with a friend to, to make, make things right instead of things just kind of um, washing aside and it's, it's cool and very inspirational to watch that happen in, in fifth grade when um, you know, kids are kids and things are going to come up, but that they're, they're willing to sometimes do that even without the, the help of an adult. And you see a student go up to a friend after, after class and just say, hey, like, just that, that happened earlier and I just want to check in with you about that. Like, that didn't feel great for me. And just then watching the amazing conversation and, uh, that comes out of that and the, the relationships that get stronger and better um, throughout the years here. The idea of challenge and how to include that in, in school I think is really important and it, I think for us at PBS a big thing we do is really focus on the process of learning and not necessarily the end goal. Oh, is reminding students that it is a process and so that means that if we're doing a math project or a math uh, activity there's always a way to extend it to the next level. So if you're working through um, let's say just multiplication and the order of operations, they might get the concept and understand it and then we always will have an opportunity for them to take it farther and take it into a real world application or a um, just kind of more difficult problem where they have to think outside the box and not just answer the, the multiplication problem but apply it to a, a bigger scenario. Um, I like to think about challenge and I think PBS in, in fifth grade we, we try to do this where it's not about necessarily the, the pinnacle of understanding, but it's about 
um, the students getting to this launch pad area where they, they understand the concept and then are looking for the next thing, the next, the next challenge, and they're looking for the next way to apply what they've learned um, in, another, in another place. And I think that comes down to us um, at a young, at a young uh, age and an earlier grade at PBS, really um, helping students realize that it's not about just this end goal, it's about the, the process of learning and that that is a continuous cycle and that that's something that they see reflected in the teachers that they work with that we as teachers know it's okay to make mistakes and so they see us learn and they see us um, be improving as well, which helps um, students recognize this idea of finding themselves in a place where it's a launch pad of learning, where they're, they're ready for the next challenge, they're ready for the next step in their, in their growth. I think that uh, I would say that PBS is a place where your child will grow into themselves and, and it's an environment and community where people support each other, the students support one another, um, and they learn from one another in a way that helps them figure out who they are and who they want to be as they grow up. Even at a younger age in elementary school, they start to see models and examples of both faculty, staff, and other students who are comfortable in, in who they are and their place in the world. And, excited about learning, um, where they'll be surrounded in a classroom environment where everybody um, is happy to be there and, every, and the students are willing to go through the, the difficult work of being a student but also knowing that it can be fun at the same time um, and that they, they are supported by both their teachers um, and their fellow students.